Okay, YouTube. We'll do a cold start on the Polaris Sportsman 400 here. Hasn't been started in probably eh, two, three weeks. And it's been, as you can see, there's snow out there. It's been in the 20s and 30s down into the teens maybe at night for about the last three to four weeks so see what it does I'm sure it's going to start right up it does pretty good oh yeah a little bit of choke you can see I've got 198 miles on this ATV One point two hours on it. It's a 2013, and I've had it. I bought it in uh, probably around October-ish, mid to late October of last year, and it's March 2nd, 2013 today. So I've had it for about five months, and. Uh, been perfection. Haven't had any trouble. I mean, I only have 198 miles on it. Haven't put a whole lot on it this winter, but I'm going to be putting a whole lot more on it come spring. Looking forward to it. Going to go to a few places to ride. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. But yeah, I never really showed you the new ATV that much haven't really made a video on it it's got the nice compartment up here where you can open up and have room to put stuff it's full of junk right now I need to clean it out and you got that nice compartment there to store some of your stuff you can lock it if you want to you can put a little lock on there right there it. It's four wheel drive. There's a select for the four wheel drive and your headlights and kill switch and this toggles for your miles or hours or whatever and it's also the reverse override button. There's your brakes up there. And of course here's where you shift. Most of you know Polaris, so it's not a big mystery. But yeah. Yeah, the fuel gauge shows you how much fuel you have there on, our, on the right side. Gear selection, of course. So, everybody pretty much knows about that stuff. Just figured I'd come out and make a little video on it. Let it run for a little bit. I haven't started it in a while. It has the compartment back here also that you can put stuff in. And those are water sealed compartments. Got your tow hitch down there. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice ATV. I like it. My old Rocketta. <laughs> If you've seen any of my other videos of the old Roquetta, it was a cheap one, but I gotta say it ran pretty good for five years. But uh, this one, you can see all the corn stalks up in there. I was up on my uncle's running through the field there about a month ago, maybe a little bit longer than that. And, uh, is running through the field and collected quite a bit of corn stalks but it's really dirty right now it needs a bath bad but that's not going to happen in 20 degree weather so spring rolls around a little bit I bought a power washer just a smaller electric power washer I'm going to use to kind of clean it up so 
first real nice warm day about 50 degrees or more it's going to get a good spray down clean it up get all the mud caked off of it clean it up it's actually green under there i promise it's not just brown so but yeah that's pretty much it just thought i would uh give you a rundown of that and uh show you what's going on with the Polaris haven't been out for a while making any videos it's been so cold and been busy at work and just haven't had time so I'm getting the itch I'm want to go ride spring can't get here fast enough but yeah it it runs really good and uh, no complaints so far so I really like it and you know the I'm, I said I mentioned this on a video before I believe but I looked at the Polaris 500 cc and the 400 cc used to be a, a mid-size a smaller ATV a smaller frame and now a 400 and a 500 is the exact same size all the dimensions are the same as far as ground clearance width height the 500 dry weight is about eight pounds heavier than a 400 who really cares the 400 is 455 cc and a 500 is 498 cc so for five or six hundred dollars less I got 40 cc's less I can deal with that I don't use it in a way that I need a five six seven hundred eight hundred I, I don't really use it in a way that I would need that much power this 400 will, will sit you right back and uh, take you down the road so it's got all I need it'll pull my trailer and haul wood um, that's good enough and if I back up my buddy's 500 is sitting here this is a 500 cc a 500 ho rather you can see there and right over here to mine is a 400 ho but as far as size they're the same dimensions everything's the same ground clearance tire size same same frame same ATV basically so for five six hundred bucks cheaper eh, works for me so other than that that's about it I just thought I'd come out and give it a start and make a little video and just show you a little bit about it and haven't really done that so there it is that's the ATV little walkthrough. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe.